Good afternoon and evening. Uh, welcome to the Keene Avenue Elementary School uh, Christmas program. We're so glad that you're here joining us. The excitement is definitely a buzz. The kids are excited. They look adorable. Uh, that's definitely a win. Um, thank you for coming. Um, but really, thank you for supporting KAES, our kids, your children. And um, we just hope and, and pray that you are blessed tonight. You know, it is, it is a season, of course, a time where we look to others, we look around, we see who we can help, who we can share with, and, and yet it's also the time where we take a double check. We look a little bit more um, closely at our Savior, Jesus. And tonight it is, the kids have worked hard, they have practiced, they've, they've done all these things really with the hopes that they can share the joy of knowing about a baby, Jesus, with you tonight. That's their goal. And um, I know you're going to have a great time. It's going to be enjoyable and precious and all those other things. Um, but when you leave tonight, our prayer is, is that you're just a little bit closer to your Savior than when we came in. And it's possible. I do want to mention... You know, we had a really a great blessing this year. It was a little bit more effort than we realized, but we were blessed. We were invited to participate in a program called um, Come Adore Him. And it is actually going to air. Our students were able to join a choir of about 400 other students and, and sing for Jesus. Um, it will be shown on um, the ABC network on Christmas morning. I'm not sure exactly what time, but if you want to see these students again, um, you'll be able to do that and, um, and enjoy that as well. And so there was a really beautiful thing that these students that you'll see tonight were able to participate in. It's just another blessing that we continue to receive. But before we begin, I just wanted to welcome you. I'm so glad you're here, but I wanted to have a word of prayer before our prelude begins. Dear Lord in heaven, we ask that you'll be in this place. We know you have been blessing us every day in our lives. You have plans for us, for our future. You know, we acknowledge you. We praise you. We love you, Lord. We ask tonight that all that are here um, just find the warmth that it is to know the Savior, to hear about the Savior, and accept our Savior. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.
Okay, everyone, let's get to work. Wait a second, where's Miss Annie? She's home with the cold. That means I'm in charge. Hey, no fair. Yeah, why do you get to be in charge? Because I'm the oldest, which means... You're the grumpiest? It means I've been in the most Christmas pageants, so I know what's supposed to happen. We all know what's supposed to happen. It's a Christmas pageant. Yeah, let's do something cool this year. Let's have some ninja penguins. Or instead of three wise men, three aliens can bring gifts. Take me to your leader. But that's not how the story goes. That's the point. Everyone already knows how the story goes. Let's just stick to the script. Please tell me you've learned your lines. Uh, Seriously, the pageant is next week. Hey, it's a busy time of year. Yeah, we've got a lot going on. Whatever, all right, Nader, hit it. Ahem, four score and seven years ago. Caesar salad declared that? No, it's in those days a decree went off from Caesar salad. There is no Caesar salad in the story? That's too bad. Caesar salad is delicious. I suggest you practice your lines, or you'll just have to use the script at the pageant. Let's go to the part where Mary and Joseph arrive at the inn. 
I am Joseph, and this is Mary. She's expecting a baby. We have traveled a long way. Do you have any room for us? Ah, uh, yes. Mary and Joseph, we've been expecting you. Here's your key and room. Rocky, Rocky, here's your key and room number. Elevators are on the left, and complimentary breakfast is from 6 to 9. Here's your key? Complimentary breakfast? There is any room at the inn. Gasp. Do you know who this is? It's Mary and Joseph. We have to make room for them and for baby Jesus. But that's not how the story goes. I don't like that part. No one made room for Christmas way back in Bethlehem, and 2,000 years later, what has changed? Am I right, people? She's got a point. No, the point is to stick to the story. Let's just skip to the angel, me, bringing the news to the shepherds. Fear not, for, ah, for behold, ah, I bring you, I bring ah, you, ah, ah. hey, sheep, seriously. At least we know our part. But you're stepping on my big moment. The sheep only get one line. Yeah, what about our big moment? Bah! <laughs> but your sheep, well, these sheep, when they're all in the spotlight, bah!
time, a narrator get us to the part about the three kings. Actually, in the Bible they're called wise men, not kings. Three kings, three wise men, what's the difference? The, uh, the Bible never says there were three wise men. We just assume that because there were three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What kind of baby gifts were those anyway? Actually, by the time the wise men arrived in Bethlehem, Jesus probably wasn't a baby anymore. But still, frankincense, myrrh, why didn't they bring him a blanket or a teddy bear, at least some diapers? Actually... Hey, I have an idea. We don't have room in the story for any ideas. We could give this old story a new twist. And we certainly don't have room for a new twist. What if we each brought a toy from home? Do you use props for the gifts? Sure, but not just props. What if after the Christmas pageant, we donated our toys to kids in need? Oh, that's a great idea. I wish you'd want to do that, too. Yeah. yeah. Have something. Yeah. I've got a toy I can bring. Yeah. yeah, then we can make room. Yes, that's what I've been saying. We can make room this season for what matters most. Yeah, more stuff. Bah. A toy drive? But that's not part of the story. It could be. Our pageant doesn't have to be just like the Bible story. Yes, it does. That's what people expect. It has to be just right so we can make it feel like Christmas. But Christmas isn't something you make. Christmas is something that is.
in the beginning, before anything had ever been made, he was there with God. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. A light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Please tell everybody to study their lines this week. And, and don't forget to bring a toy from home for the toy drive. How many of you have been blessed so far this evening? Amen. Isn't it wonderful? Amen. I am so grateful. I'm in the Christmas spirit. You can't help but be with this music. We want to thank uh, Miss Annie and her leadership in this music department. She stepped in this year to some big shoes to fill and is taking it with courage and putting her own mark on it. And we just are so excited for these kids and what it means to them. I want you to pause for a moment and just think what this means to you. What does the gift of music mean? What does especially the gift of Christian education and music in that context, praising God? You know, as I look at the kids, I, I think of my own kids having gone through this school and, and received the blessing of musical training and learning new instruments and, and being comfortable sharing that up front and what that has done for them. But I also think of what long-term it does. And I noticed that behind the scenes here tonight, we have a couple of KAES alumni helping out. Our stage manager, Esther and Don, uh, Danya over playing the flute. These are people who just a few years ago were at KAS, and they're continuing to give their gifts of music partially because of that training and inspiration they received at our school. So I want to invite our, our older students to come up here right now, and we're going to invite you to give a chance to give back. We know that you have many expenses and needs, and we don't want to put any pressure on you, but we want to invite you very specifically uh, at this moment to give towards the music department at KAS. We believe that it's an important cause, and our kids are blessed because of it. One way they are blessed, many of you know recently, with the, with the trip up to film uh, up in Dallas. 
Dallas. Uh, trips like that, music fest, competitions, uh, being able to put on programs such as this is what those funds will go towards. And we thank you so much for your generous giving. Will you bow your heads with me as we offer a word of prayer? Gracious Father in heaven, thank you for the gift of music. Thank you for our children and the privilege we have of working with them every day. God, we want to give you all the praise and honor and glory for everything that's happening here tonight. Right now, we seek to give back to you just a little bit of what you've given to us. As we have been blessed, may we bless others for future musical endeavors. Bless each person here tonight as they consider giving and bless those who may not be able to give as well. We thank you so much for this opportunity and for our school. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our students will now take up the offering. Bye. Uh-huh. 
The big day is here. Places, everyone. Hey, look at all those people out there. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mom. I wish I practiced more. It's too late for that now. Just do the best you can. Okay, narrator? Ahem. In those days, the emperor Caesar, Caesar Augustus made a decree that everyone in the empire should be counted. This meant that people had to go to their hometowns to register. Joseph had to go to his ancestor's hometown, Bethlehem. He was engaged to Mary, who was expecting a baby. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they found an inn. I am Joseph, and this is Mary. She's expecting a baby. We have traveled a long way. Please, do you have any room for us? Just say your line. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no room at the end. <laughs> but, uh-oh. There will always be room for you in my heart. Hit it! So, um, after the song, Mary and Joseph found a stable, and this is where the baby was born. Mary wrapped the baby in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Meanwhile, there were shepherds in the fields, keeping watch over their quiet sheep by night. An angel appeared to them and said, and the angel said, Fear not. I know that part, but I can't remember what comes after. No, I mean, fear not. Your friends are with you. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. We got it. We got it. Fear, you. Fear not. Fear not, for behold, I bring you great news of joy. For to you is born in the city of David, Christ the Lord. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Way to go. Bah. 
the shepherds and sheep hurried all the way to Bethlehem. There they found Mary, Joseph, and the baby. After a time, there came um, an indeterminate number of wise men from the east. We have followed your star since it's rising. Although, technically stars don't rise, they... Shh. We knew it would lead us to you. And look, we brought gifts for a... Well, we brought gifts. Hey, I think he likes them. All those years ago, a savior was born. A child so small that the hopes of the whole world could be held in the mother's arms. All those years ago, there was no room for this child. The, the savior of the world. The king of kings was born in a stable. Today, Lord Jesus, we make room for you in our lives. We make room for you in our hearts.
Look at all the toys we collected for the children in need. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Good? It feels great. So you're not upset that the, the pageant didn't turn out just right? But it did turn out just right. We made the story feel new again by really making room. For what? More stuff? By making room for Christmas. Wow. <laughs> Can we all agree that your children have done an amazing job? Can we give them a round of applause, please? Oh, well, first off, I should have said this first. My name is Eni Infante. I am the music teacher at KAS, and I'm so thankful that I have gotten to work with each and every one of your students. They are absolutely wonderful. Christmas concerts like this are not possible without a big team. I couldn't let this opportunity go by without naming all these people. And they are... Mrs. Nadia, Miss Amanda, Miss Ruth, Miss Jess, I mean, sorry, Mr. Sam, Mrs. Shockey, Miss New, Mr. Weaver, Lisa Burke, Mr. Coulter, uh, Mimi, our pianist, Tania Sanchez, um, Dania Correa, our handbells teacher, Liz Velez, Pastor Ruben, Lisa Raber, Pastor Travis, and the church team, Esther Souza, our stage manager, Dr. Howard, Pastor Michael, my husband, Edgar Infante, my mother-in-law, Karina Infante, who's in charge of all the beautiful decorations and a sweet treat that you'll see outside in just a second. All the students, the parents, and all my friends that helped me tremendously throughout this week. So can we give another round of applause for your students, please? Right now, we're about to sing our last song called Adore Him. Oh, wow. This is a thank you from all of the students. We love you, Miss Henny.
oh come let us adore him on stage and the preschoolers if you're still here do you guys want to know what it is it's small it's round you can put it on a stick and you can eat it what is it no it's a cake pop so as, as the students walk out and you reunite with your children at each exit there will be a table at that table, I have three specific middle school students that are helping us pass out these cake pops. They, each student is able to get at least two, but the student will hand it to them. All we ask is that you please eat it outside or as you go home or at home. Thank you so, so much for coming. We have, I wanna invite Pastor Travis up to have our closing thoughts and prayer. As the children come down, finish coming down, will you bow your heads with me for a word of prayer? Gracious God in heaven, the one who has given the greatest, most costly gift that any being could ever have given, we come to you tonight to adore you. As we've heard our children sing your praise, we've been brought into your presence and we've been challenged to know the true meaning of Christmas. So as we leave this place, God, we ask that you would help us to show by our lives that same selfless spirit that the Godhead had up in heaven so long ago and continues to have on our behalf. May we live out your love, Jesus, each and every day. Bless us. Bless each family represented here tonight. May we be safe until we meet again. In Jesus' name. Amen.